Hi everybody and welcome to Open Source Tonight. Today, I wanted to talk to you about something that I want to do, and maybe some of you do too, which is to generate your own video feed that can be passed around the network to be viewed on your mobile devices, your computer, maybe even your TV, all using open source software. So let's get into setting up an easy to use streaming server. So, as you can see here, when we look at my screen, you can see we have this program called RTSP Simple Server. Now it also implements some other protocols, specifically RTMP and LLHLS and HLS. Uh, now HLS and LLL and LLHLS, so low latency, HTTP live streaming and HTTP live streaming is a protocol that was developed by Apple years ago and it allows you uh, a whole architecture, if you will, to stream video using a simple web server to other devices. A lot of stuff supports it. Roku boxes, for example, as somebody that has developed code for the Roku, I can tell you that it will take an HLS signal. Interestingly enough, it won't from this server though, and I don't know why that is, but if I take the video from it and use FFmpeg to convert it to HLS again, it works. So I'm not really sure what the implementation issue is. If I knew more about what was causing it, I'd put it in a bug report, but right now all I really know is it's doesn't do what it's supposed to. Uh, the Roku just tries to load it forever and it fails. But anyway, regardless of that, um, we can go ahead and use that to move, view it on our mobile devices, etc. It's got a built-in web server with a player for each of the streams. So I'll show you how to do that. But first, let's actually show how to get it set up on your Raspberry Pi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go over here to releases, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna find the ARM v7 one this is what you want for the latest gen Raspberry Pi. And then I'm going to open a terminal and I'm gonna SSH into my Pi. You'll need SSH on your Pi to be enabled at this point, of course, to do that. And here we go. I should probably make the screen bigger for you. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now we wait for the Raspberry Pi. Oh, I typed the wrong, the wrong IP. Let's try that again. There, now I'm logged in. I was gonna say it normally, it's very quick. All right. Anyway, so now that we're logged in, let's go ahead and set up a server uh, location where we're gonna store everything. So I'm gonna say RTMP underscore server. So I'm gonna do MKDIR, okay? And the SSH command, the way that works, you just put in SSH, your username, at sign the IP address. But if the, if the username is the same as the one you're currently logged in on, you don't have to do that, by the way. So let me go ahead and see, we got an empty directory, see? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use wget to take that link that we just copied and download it. Here it goes, you can see it's downloading real fast and we're done. All right, and now that we've extracted it, we should have a brand new executable here. And if I run this, you can see that the server is up and running. Let's open up Firefox and check it out. So I'll type in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. In your case, it might be different. And you can see we get, after we put in the colon 8888, which is the HLS server's port, the web server's port, you can see we get a four or four page not found. All right, so why don't we generate a stream so we can see the HLS feed? It's very easy. I'll use OBS as the encoder. As you can see, here's OBS, which is also recording. I'll go into the settings, and I'm gonna change this IP right here to my Raspberry Pi's IP address. And there it is. Then I'm gonna hit apply. And then you wanna use colon here at the end, 1935. The RTMP's at the beginning, RTMP colon slash slash IP address colon port nine, uh, one nine, sorry, three five slash your stream name. Make sure this is set to custom up here so you can get to that. Then hit apply, you can hit okay. And now I can hit start streaming. And just like that, it's working. Now, within a few seconds, we'll be able to check out the HLS feed by going over here and typing slash our stream name at the end of this. That's all we gotta do. So in my case, it's slash test. All right, and I'm going to make sure, yep, that's already muted. Now, it takes a few seconds to do this and I may have opened it a little too quickly, but we're gonna wait and see if I did. So let's just stand by. Yeah, and I think it, oh, there it is. As you can see, we have a recording of me from several seconds ago on the screen, because that's what OBS is recording, but it works great. So there you go. Anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's simple video. It's not really that hard to get this all set up. So I hope you found this useful and informative. 
Thanks for watching Open Source tonight, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everybody. And action.